So Fire Force Online should finally be releasing as you guys are watching this video. And Fire Force Online does get a bit complicated, so I think a lot of you guys will benefit from a guide video, so that's what I want to do today. This info should save you guys a lot of time, so let's get straight into it. I stream on Twitch daily. God, dude. So arguably the most important thing is choosing your faction. There's the Fire Force and the White Clad, and they do have different benefits. So if you join the Fire Force, your quests are mainly going to be revolved around fighting Infernals. Compared to if you join the White Clad, it's mainly going to be about fighting people. Now, in my opinion, fighting Infernals is a lot more tedious and annoying. And also, just to join the Fire Force, it's much more difficult than the White Clad. So me personally, I would recommend you guys join the White Clad. But regardless, I'll go over how to join both. So you spawn in the city, and just by running around, you're going to get these little notifications, and they're essentially little quest that you could do to help your xp a lot but you also have rep in this game and if your rep goes up you'll join the fire force if your rep goes down you'll join the white clad so the quest i put on screen is helping this grandma right she needs help walking across the street if you want to get positive rep and join the fire force just walk next to her but if you want negative rep leave her alone and she'll die and you'll get negative rep and just continue to pick the side of the quest that you want to join now if you want to join the fire force the quest you want to do is the quest at the police station you essentially just help the police station out and they'll give you rep and money now you want to spam this quest until you're about level five once you're level five you'll be able to join the fire force but you'll also get your ability and there is a lot you need to know about your ability but i'll talk about that in a second well for those of you that want to join the white cloud you need to go to the slums and there's an npc there called a crook and essentially he's going to give you quests similar to the police station the quests are pretty easy they're usually just like pickpocket someone or something you won't have trouble with them and after getting a certain amount of negative rep you'll get teleported by show he's gonna freeze time and take you into his base and it's really extremely easy especially compared to the fire force quest which is why i recommend you guys go white clad all that's gonna happen is two people are gonna come out a guy and a kid the guy's gonna give you an infernal bug to give to the kid and then the kid will become an infernal and then all you have to do is fight the kid but the kid doesn't even fight back so it's really easy i'm not gonna lie if you mess this one up that's a crazy skill issue i can't help you bro no one can help you at that point now for fire force i would recommend going at level five but i believe you could go at level three you want to talk to this guy in the center of the map at the fountain and he's gonna give you a ping for where the fire force base is and you want to go there and then once you get there you want to talk to the examiner you're probably wondering what does the examiner do he takes you to the exam i know crazy but it's only open sometimes so if you lose you're gonna have to wait again the exam won't be as difficult for you guys since you have a bunch of people doing the exam together but essentially you need to pay attention to all the dialogue because he's gonna ask you questions based on the dialogue he says at the start i was legit taking notes but i was dragging it i'm not gonna lie you don't need to do all that but then he's gonna have you collect some fruits for him it's really not that difficult either just don't waste time and then the third and final stage is you have to fight an inferno which at your level is going to be pretty difficult but if you guys are taking it with like five other people it should be pretty easy we didn't know how to do it at the time but essentially what you guys want to do is parry or block his flamethrower and then dash away from his stomp move after every time you parry block or dash away from his move land about two to three on ones and then continue the same cycle what we did which you guys should probably do as well is take turns fighting it don't just all fight at the same time because it does have aoe moves so when you're low you can have your friend tap in and continue to fight so you can regen and if you do die it doesn't matter if they complete the exam you are not gonna complete it with them so now since most of you guys should be level five let's talk about your ability if you're not level five just do phone call quests which you could find in the menu and then get level five so once you hit level five you'll either be assigned generation one generation two or generation three and each of these have different abilities gen one has no powers but they still get weapons and you can be really strong on gen one most of the abilities are balanced in this game so generation and ability is mostly based on preference but not actual strength but you might be thinking how do i check my generation and ability so you want to go to your skill tree which you could go to by clicking m and then the skill tree icon and from there in the bottom right side that will be your ability if you're level five and still don't have anything there that means you're gen one and you need to go choose a ability for gen one which by ability i mean like fighting style essentially and there's three but most of you guys should be gen two or generation three because the odds are all the same so 70 percent of you will be gen two or three if you end up getting generation two you need to buy a lighter because generation 2 can only control fire so it needs to use a lighter to charge up kind of like breathing in a demon slayer game in my opinion that mechanic is really annoying which is why i prefer generation 1 because it doesn't need it and generation 3 because it can create its own fire now to check which specific ability you get look at the moves for each ability on the trello and compare it to what moves you got in this example i got grand hands and i'll link the trello below and i know some of you guys are going to be wondering can you switch your ability in generation you can with robux but you also can with in-game currency occasionally you'll get 
get an alert that a mysterious man has spawned in and he's a black market dealer who sells rerolls. Now once you're up to this point, you're gonna progress by doing raids and phone call missions. Phone call missions are essentially normal quests and raids are essentially PvP battles versus the other faction, very similar to how Type Soul has it. Now something really important that I need to mention is at your base you'll either have an NPC called a lawyer or Toto depending on which faction you are. And this NPC will give you a ton of free money and rank and whatnot every two hours. Now there's a lot more to this game that I was able to cover in this video such as subclasses so if you want a video on stuff like that and you guys need more help either go to my twitch and I can help you there or I'll make a separate video if enough of you guys want it. We'll probably also do some reroll giveaways on the twitch if y'all are interested in that because I'm sure some of you guys will just get something you don't want. But if y'all enjoy my content if you like and subscribe it boosts the algorithm a lot or even comment any of the above so I would appreciate it. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Later. Life. There's Roblox.